हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर प्रदीप कुमार कौशिक सीनियर कंसल्टेंट कार्डियक सर्जन एट एस आर सी सी चिल्ड्रंस हॉस्पिटल नारायणा हेल्थ माई सेल्फ आई हैव बीन ट्रेन इन जनरल सर्जरी एज अ पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम जयपुर एंड आफ्टर दैट आई डिड माई ट्रेनिंग इन द फोर्टिस एस्कॉट्स हार्ट हॉस्पिटल डेली फॉर कार्डियक सर्जरी देर आई वॉज ट्रेन विद डॉक्टर अयर एंड डॉक्टर त्रेहन and after that i did my pediatric cardiac surgery training extensively there in 2006 i moved to narayana hospital chain in bangalore and i joined there again in a pediatric cardiac surgery fellowship which was another 2 years in 2008 i became consultant uh, and i started operating my own cases independently and uh, in 2011 i cleared my us uh, licensing exam so i got Two years opportunity to work abroad, and that's why I was in San Francisco for one year, and in Children's Hospital of Philadelphia in America for the second year. There I learned more about the complex heart disease, the heart transplant, heart and lung transplant, and some ventricular assist devices, which are not yet prevalent in India. After that, in 2013, I came back to Bangalore Narayana Hospital, same my parent institute. and i was consultant with the independently doing cases in 2017 i was given the responsibility to head the unit of uh, this new venture which was srcc children's hospital in 2017 so before starting this last year i, I had almost 10 years in narayana hospital with 2 years of uh, abroad training uh, in last one and a half year we had an uh, close to 500 cases uh, with excellent results and we have more than 99% survival uh, like uh, from our hospital so today's topic uh, uh, will be tof which is uh, tetralogy of fellow and uh, it's the most common cyanotic congenital heart disease which means that the babies who are born with the heart defect and are blue in color this is the most common cause of the blue babies and uh, let's talk in uh, detail about how the babies do present so the parents will come with the complaints of the baby gets bluer when the baby cries or the baby ha- exerts like when if it's a grown up baby when the baby plays gets turns blue and has to sit they cannot run fast they cannot walk fast so these are the common symptoms depend on what age they are presenting and uh, when they come to us we have to do x ray ecg and echo to confirm the diagnosis like what's happening and let's say that it's confirmed that it's tof tetralogy of fallow which comprises of four problems in the heart one is there is a hole in the heart there is a narrowing in the in the blood flow going to the lungs which is called as pulmonary stenosis and because of the narrowing the proximal chamber of the heart becomes very thick which is called as right ventricle hypertrophy and the fourth thing is that the aorta the pipe which supplies the pure blood to the body it overrides the whole of the vsd so it comes out from both the chambers like left ventricle and the right ventricle so these four problems combinedly are called as tof and surgically what we have to do is it depends on what age the babies are presenting suppose the babies are presenting as 3 months of age with the bluish discoloration so we usually do not do the complete repair at 3 months of age the baby should be ideally 5 to 6 kgs and maybe 4 to 5 months of age then we can do the complete correction at one go otherwise it has to be staged surgery in which the first operation is called as a bt shunt operation in which the bluish discoloration is taken care of we just create one artificial channel between the pure pipe and the impure pipe and there is more blood going to the lungs to get uh, oxygen and that's the baby's bluish discoloration is taken care of for some time till the baby gains some weight and we think that okay this is the time and we have to correct it which is usually one and a half years suppose the babies are presenting at 9 months with good weight we do them complete repair at one state one stage so uh, after the surgery i mean it's open heart surgery suppose we are doing a complete repair of tof then it's uh, open heart surgery we do by cutting this uh, sternal bone the chest bone 
and uh, we do it with a machine of hard lung machine so the heart is arrested for that much time the heart is stopped by giving some medications and we do the surgery by closing the hole and removing the obstruction in the uh, passage going to the lungs after this the heart again starts beating and we shift the baby to the icu depending on how the baby is recovering maybe a day or two baby remains in the icu and then is shifted to the ward in the ward another 2 to 3 days we keep doing the serial echoes and keep checking how the baby is doing and then we send the baby home after that it's uh, hardly one or two medications for a couple of weeks and then the follow ups keep on coming uh, for the echoes maybe 3 months 6 months or a year later depending on how the baby's echo findings are i would say that uh, in our hospital for this particular tof we have uh, close to 100% results we have sent all the babies home with the uh, total correction and uh, worldwide also the results are fairly uh, competent and good for this uh, particular disease entity and uh, uh, any more further queries about the tof you can please ask me